Hi there. Google Forms are great for gathering structured responses on any device and uh, flexible enough to handle a wide range of use cases. Add the form URL to the home screen of your smartphone or tablet and you have the perfect tool for recording teacher observations, keeping running student records, or soliciting participant follow-ups after meeting, to name just a few. Forms feed into spreadsheets, as you probably know, and these are great if you're trying to aggregate and report on data, like this site's embedded chart that's used by one of our principals to keep track of how many teacher observations he has done. But Google Spreadsheets are a bit less than perfect for reading and editing narrative text. The popular Autocrat document merge script helps out some, making it possible to merge a new templated doc from a form submission or from a spreadsheet full of data. But what if you want form submissions to add content to existing documents? Stated another way, how can I get Google Forms to add content to the end of a user-selected Google document, a document that already exists? We want the user to be able to easily choose which document from a set of existing documents they want their form submission appended to, and have their responses recorded in both the spreadsheet and the Google Doc. And so I wrote the Doc Appender to solve this problem. Written in Google Apps Script, Doc Appender can just be installed in a quick few steps from any existing Google Form containing spreadsheet. Just go into the Tools menu, select Script Gallery, and search Doc Appender. The installation process will involve publishing the script as a web app, which will make it available to your users as a URL. Once you have this URL, you'll be able to visit it like you would a website or embed it in a Google site as an app script gadget. Once installed and authorized, the Doc Appender gives users a list box where they can select from among all the docs they have view access to within a given docs folder. Selecting a doc generates a custom link, which pre-populates a field in your Google Form. Note that you'll need to create this field and designate it during the setup process so that it can take the document ID. This document ID is the unique string that Google will use to locate the correct document when it goes to append your form entry. With the form submission, the script is triggered to find the doc and add selected fields to the bottom of the document. These fields are selected during the setup process, allowing you to exclude certain fields if they are irrelevant or sensitive in nature. In its first release, the doc appender allows for fields to be appended as bulleted lists, vertical tables, or as rows within the same horizontal table. The need for this script arose in our quest to make better a better meeting agenda system. This uh, system involves both creating the agenda, scheduling uh, the meeting, and uh, logging the follow-up process for teacher teams. We wanted meeting participants to log their follow-ups in a structured way that we could aggregate and report on across teams, while also keeping all meeting notes and takeaways on the same meeting agenda. The Doc Appender solves this problem by providing users a web app where they select meeting, the meeting agenda they wish to append. Note that this system also makes use of the formula script to perform a calendar merge when new meeting agendas are created, and the autocrat script to generate the original agenda document. This is one of many great examples of how lightweight, flexible scripts that plug into the Google Apps infrastructure are empowering educators to serve young people more effectively. My name is Andrew Stillman, and I'm an educator. I wrote the Doc Appender as part of my work with New Visions for Public Schools and the UPD community. If you come up with any great use cases for this script in schools, please give back by posting your solution as a hack on UPD. Cheers.